Hello, my name is Robin Badke and I'm with AltaVista Technology. Today we're going to cover how to enter an accounts receivable transaction in Microsoft Dynamics Great Plains. In Microsoft Dynamics Great Plains, on the Sales module, you would select Transaction Entry. You would then select your document type. As you can see, you can choose from a sales invoice, a debit memo, finance charge entry, service or repair, warranty, credit memo, or return. Today we're going to do a sales invoice. You would then enter your description and select a batch ID. Normally we would put in any combination of your initials or a date. If you're asked to add the batch, you can select add. Input any comments to reference the batch. Select a posting date so for the transactions that will be hitting the GL and select your checkbook ID then you would save your batch from there you would input your document date and select your customer ID you can either enter it from memory or you can select the lookup glass here to search for particular customers basic information that defaults in are an address ID currency ID payment terms local delivery, and any tax schedule ID that is applicable for that customer. If there is a cost associated with the invoice you are entering, then you can select that here, and that will go into your cost of goods sold account. You can enter, next you would enter the um, amount of your transaction, any discounts, freight, or miscellaneous that apply, and as you can see, from the tax schedule ID, our sales tax had automatically calculated. Then you can apply any cash checks or credit cards that could be on account or that you want to enter that, that came along with this receivables transaction that you'll be posting shortly. You could select on the distributions tab to update any of the GL accounts that may be necessary for that particular transaction. You can select apply if there's any um, receivables that are there that this could be applied to and if there's any commissions associated with it you could select a salesperson or a territory ID that would um, calculate the commissions for that transaction. Once you're done you would select save, enter any more transactions you have for that batch and then go over to the master posting window to post the batch. Thank you for watching how to enter an accounts receivable transaction video. If you have, would like any further information, please feel free to reach us at altavistatech.com or send us an email to support at altavistatech.com. Thank you for watching.